both dogs with me and judging from the intro I think you can tell what kind of video this is going to be. I was really hoping to get some duck hunting videos out there for you guys. Um, the last couple weeks have not been have not been good to us though. Um, I've taken this entire week off in hopes to get on some birds and get some videos made. Um, first three days have not been great. So the first part of this video here is going to be uh, the last couple pheasant hunts that we've done, we're going to kind of combine them. Um, so we did get some birds up in the air, took some shots and missed. Um, and then we're on our way right now to a piece of property. It's it's part of the IHAP program. So IHAP stands for Iowa Habitat and Access Program. In a nutshell, it's privatized land that has been um, opened up for public hunting. I've never hunted it on, on IHAP property before so this is going to be new to us um, I jumped on Onyx found a couple spots that I'd like to go check out got the dogs with me just in case we want to walk the field um, hopefully we get a little bit of action today and if we do then we'll throw that in this video as well I know the beginning of this video is gonna be not the most action-packed like the last few videos have been however Hopefully it's still something enjoyable for you guys to watch. Um, not every hunt's gonna be a banger hunt. Not every day is gonna be a limit. That's just the reality of hunting, especially late season here in Iowa. Uh, we generally don't get a push of new ducks until after the season's over. So all the local birds smarten up. They kind of know where to not go, where to go. And it's really hard to get on them. Um, as far as pheasant, our population's gone up. It's not 100% where we used to be. Um, but it is better However, late season hunting is usually extremely difficult with pheasant as well. So uh, Late season, it's just chasing the birds trying to get trying to figure out where they're at trying to find them trying to get them up Either way, let me know down below in the comments uh, What you think of this video if, if you'd like to see more of this type of, uh, of Hunting, you know, not always the great side. I know it's not as fun not as enjoyable you know, at least to me it's not um, editing wise again that's part of hunting not every hunt's gonna be great so let me know down below what you guys think of this um, if you'd like to see more of these hunts the, the reality of the good versus bad so on and so forth um, we're gonna get out to this spot though um, if we decide to walk it we'll get you turned back on and we'll put that at the end here so you're gonna get kind of a tour two or three hunt deal in this video so sit back relax and enjoy hey, Donald, can I help you? Hey, can I just get uh, two plain sausage biscuits a couple of beggars there We're gonna we're gonna walk over there then. Just keep pushing forward. Good girl, Anna. Huh? 
No. I don't know. We might we might have clipped him. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hand, hand, hand. Okay, so you see the difference between the two now? Sure. <laughs> Pretty obvious. I just have not, like, any other day, man, that would have been a, a dead bird first shot, but I don't know what my deal is this weekend. Go get him. Hen, 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 hen. Good girl, Nay. Oh, they're sitting tight. Yeah. Rooster! And So, I don't know if this is the first time I've ever been out at this place. Um, the cover doesn't look great. I don't really see a water source. But, we'll, uh, we'll see what we see here. I gotta tighten this butt stock up tonight. It is getting way, way wobbly. Yeah, it looked good from the road, but... Now that I'm in here, it's pretty, pretty thin cover here. Uh, I checked this uh, this morning, and we have hit 99 subscribers, so we are one shy of that 100 sub mark and our giveaway. But by the time this video is edited and posted, we will probably more than likely be at 100. So we're gonna go ahead and do the giveaway code. Uh, kudos for watching this thing all the way through. We're gonna go ahead and give you the code now. Our secret code, and all you got to do is comment this code down below. Is Nayla and Luna. N-E-Y-L-A and Luna, L-U-N-A. And I think instead of going live with it, we're just gonna make a video of the drawing. That way nobody misses it. Um, so make sure you uh, hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified when we upload new videos. And good luck to everybody who comments that secret code, Nayla and Luna. Good girls, here, 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 here. Good girl. Well, would you <laughs> stop? Leave it, leave it, leave it. Awesome. Whoops. Nice looking bird, holy cow, my first uh, my first pheasant on IHAP property, nice. I was just saying, I don't see any shells out here, so that's uh, maybe a bad thing. And as soon as I said it, boom, one up. Good job, Luna. Good job, Luna, good flush. Oh, guys, you have no idea how much I needed that. Down. No idea how much I needed that. I have not had a bird in the bag for quite some time. Needed that one. Good girl. Good girl. Good find. Good find. Oh my goodness sakes, we needed that. Guys, it feels like it has been eternity since I uh, since I've gotten a bird and I never I've never hunted this I have property before 
or any I have property at all. So I wasn't really sure what to expect, but boy, I may have to utilize this a little bit more because that's awesome. And uh, I woke up this morning. I was actually out scouting last night and I found a, a small body of water that was holding somewhere between 25 and three or 2,500 and 3,000 ducks on it. Um, I'm going to assume most of them were teal, but uh, it's hard to tell. But anyways, I was down there for about an hour and a half watching and within that hour and a half, the boat ramp had pretty much frozen over. So we got a pretty substantial freeze last night. So I kind of figured that today most of my water spots were going to be frozen, so we were just going to take the day off. And I got some laundry and stuff done this morning, and then it started to warm up a little bit. It was like 14 degrees this morning, and I decided, hey, it's you know we're at about 24 degrees now. Dogs have been resting all morning. Why not go check out one of these pieces of private land, one of these. Uh, habitat access program properties and uh, see how it goes and I'm glad we did because we got a bird in the bag finally you saw uh, the beginning you saw how bad uh, the last couple weeks have been with just weather and bird numbers and shooting shooting has been awful nice to it's nice to be back on it again even if we just get the one so this is another area that I've never been to um, Onyx says that this is state property though so there's a couple signs back there that shows public hunting so not really sure what to expect here but <clears throat> we'll see we'll give her a we'll give her a shot because everything after this is just gravy now so oh i don't know about all this Boy, if that's all this is, then I'm going to say no on this. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different than our normal videos, but I'm glad that we could end it on a good note. Uh, just the one bird today, which I am perfectly fine with that, seeing as how the last week or so, two weeks, something like that, has just been absolutely horrible hunting. Um, getting on birds has been hard. Uh, getting ducks to work has been almost impossible and our shooting has been absolutely atrocious the last couple weeks so I'll take one bird um, you know, that really brings the spirits up and it gives me something to edit and put out there for you guys so like I said I know this was uh, I know this video was a little different than the normal um, but I think we're, we're gonna have to just show some of the negative side of hunting not every hunt is going to be limits and lots of birds working and stuff like that. Some days you go out there and you don't see anything. Other days you go out there and you might get one or two up. And then there's the days like we've been having at the beginning of the season where it's just bird after bird after bird. Um, <clears throat> without the bad hunts, the good hunts wouldn't be as good. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you love to subscribe. And uh, yeah, as always, we'll see you on the next one.